here we are on top of the world, or at least on top of Anko's Hospital, and overlooking the Cardroom Estate. We want to turn this, this dereliction, into a world exposition. Some of the best areas in the country really show what can be done in the urban regeneration in these sorts of areas. Ladies and gentlemen, can we get together so you can hear what we've got to say and we can hear what you've got to say. My name's, my name's Nick Johnson. I'm a development director at Urban Splash and I, together with Tom Bloxham, are the, with the day-to-day -day responsibility for um, and what's going to happen over the course of the next, hopefully, um, five to ten years. Hi, my name is, is uh, Christophe, this is uh, David West. Uh, today we are sort of going to start uh, the process of getting to know each other. Some of the green space. Do we want to keep the pub? Yeah. Headdresser? Betting shop? You want everything? I can't guarantee that everything that you say you want, you will get. Obviously, we have a finite amount of money that we have to spend, and we have to work with the various people, like the City Council and like these partnerships, to deliver this. Well, look at this, the canals, aren't they fantastic? The Ashton, the Rochdale, let's put in some new canals, let's reinvigorate the old canals, and let's create a new Amsterdam, a new East Manchester Dam, a really special place in the city. Would you like to have more water on the side, like linking the two canals? together. I, what do people think about the canal? It's too dangerous, this canal. I haven't brought anything with me, only myself and, and my, my grandchildren. But my favourite thing about this area is the community, my neighbours and the children that live here. We haven't got anything at the moment, and this is a, all oh, for everybody, it's going to be a lot better and a, a, a better future for us all. Yeah, this is uh, our, our third, third workshop, and I think uh, now we're starting to have. Uh, the basis of a, of a, of a plan to, to work on and I think we've all had about a, a week to work on it. We also need parks, we need green squares, we need schools, we need clinics and not just mediocre things, not just things that people are happy with, but let's put a state of an art clinic in there. We've already started talking to the health authority about it. Let's get a doctor's surgery, let's get a dentist, healthy living centres, all of them serving both the population of East Manchester, but equally integrated into the city centre population. This, 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 this and this would probably be uh, flat and at, at the point where you have to enter between between the, the canals you actually have a few steps and the canal is higher than, than Weybridge Road so that in elevation if you want an elevation looking this way would look road coming down road coming up building 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 and then entrance to car park and then the canals are here you can get from that level to that level very easily. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to further consultation on the route to New Islington. Can we just divide it into four groups, please? There's one, one group at this table and three. We want to know where are the houses going to be to accommodate us and the house My house is not me. I can only go off the stuff that we're building at the moment in, in Castlefield and, and the kind of provision that we're making. That's what you're getting. That's what you're getting. 
They're not. They are not. They are not. The views have made your mind of what you're going to do. Let's have that. No, no, this is a sacrificial proposal for us to listen to what you've got to say. Sorry, can everybody listen to what's been said, please? What is key is we want to know from you today whether, in general, you think that this vision is the right vision. A lot of the things that we really wanted are, are there in front of us. Old Sob's fantastic model. We're not going to build every single one of those buildings, but the vision's there. The idea of what we're going to do is something brave, something exciting, something new, something contemporary. It looks fantastic. But is this the end? It's not the end at all. This is but the beginning. So many plans lie gathering dust on people's desks. We've got to make sure this one doesn't. Really, this is the start of things, not the finish of things. We're listening to all what they've got to say. I'm thinking, oh, well, we'll do this and we'll do that. Oh, I've got the plans there now, but we haven't got a clue what the houses are going to look like. But you've got to have change. You know, there will be more people, more children, more everything. So you've got to go along with the change, haven't you? It's time for change, and it'll be really nice. It is a challenge. We've got the skills, we've got the enthusiasm, we've got the energy to make this deliver. And we have to make it deliver, because if we don't deliver on this one, we'll never work in the city again. Joe,